us Minnesota Fighting Vikings fans got emotionally off the rails this week because ah, they still haven't addressed the offensive line as they missed out on Austin Blythe, who signed with the Chiefs, and then they re-signed Dakota Dozier, quite possibly one of the worst guards in the league last year. And he started all 16 games, which just speaks to Rick Dennison's obtuseness. But the reality is Dozier is back on a one-year league minimum, nothing guaranteed deal, and hopefully, hopefully, even though Zimmer sounded like he was all in, uh, hopefully the Viking staff realized, ah, we, we could do a little bit better than Dakota Dozier, but for some veteran depth and competition, fine, fine. But whew, this is a stage of grief. I'm trying to convince myself. But the Vikings currently have about $6.3 million in effective cap space, 13.46 after June 1st when Rudy's money come in. And after signing the rookies, they'll have about $10 million in effective cap space. Remember, on the top 51, and remember, that's all that matters, net not gross, net. So top 51 uh, cap is all that matters. And so the Vikings do have plenty of space to maneuver. And ah, Dios mio, Orlando Brown Jr. trade one time? One time, but absent that, here are the top 10 remaining free agent offensive linemen. So at the top, you do have Eric Fisher, the left tackle from the Chiefs, 30 years young, 6'7", 315. Last year, 80.1 PFF grade, his best in his career. 2013, number one overall pick, does have health issues and is coming off an Achilles injury. Number two, so we didn't even list Mitchell Schwartz last time we ran down the top 10 offensive linemen because I assumed he was going to be snatched up right away. It's like, you know, talk about Penny Sewell dropping to 14. But Schwartz, 31, he was the second highest grade greater right tackle in 2019 he would likely be the most expensive and would include the most moving parts since schwartz has only played a right tackle with the chiefs and the browns you would likely plant him at right tackle move brian into the left tackle and then you have just yankee swap all over the place three Forrest Lamp, our guy, 2017 second round pick. Injury history, but a dynamic athlete coming out of Western Kentucky. If he can get some puck luck with his health, I think that he could be a very cheap and formidable asset on the offensive line. Number four, Russell Kuhn, uh, the former Panther, Charger, Bronco, Seahawk, 33, 6 5, 3, 10. Now, he was actually the Vikings' first choice in free agency in 2017 before they settled for Riley Reef. Uh, played uh, seven games last year, 73 PFF grades can still do it at an advanced age. And even though I'm a big supporter of Ezra Cleveland at left tackle, if the Vikings are able to land in the draft a guy like Derisaw or Slater or Sam Cosme, or if the Vikings sign Eric Fisher or Russell Kung in free agency, you do have to have the flexibility of, hey, maybe Ezra stays at guard for a year. Five, Trey Turner, ironically, who was swapped for Russell uh, last year season uh chargers guard former five-time pro bowler with the panthers down here in la but remember is only 27 years old man hopefully he can uh get back that love and feeling uh on a cheap one-year deal six nick easton a former viking signed a four-year deal with the saints i uh, was let go met with the texans and the Bengals. no dice so far 2016 a 67.5 pff pass blocking grain seven james carpenter to the falcons where also a little bit older, but 6'5", 321, has size, has anchor. Former Seahawk, Jet, and as well as Falcons last two years. Did spend time with Rick Dennison, 2018 with the Jets. Dun, dun, dun. Number eight, uh, a name that's under the radar, but Jermaine Elmanor of the Patriots. 26 years old, 6'4", 335, former Patriots and Ravens utility offensive lineman. Uh, has tackle and guard flexibility last year. In some spot duty, playing right tackle, uh, posted a 68 PFF grade for the Patriots. Nine, Lane Taylor of the Packers. Yeah, yeah. Utility guy, 31, 6'3", 324. Played one game last year, which was week one against the Vikings. Then had a season-ending injury. Would be a cheap veteran guy. And then 10, Michael Schofield of the Panthers, 31, 6'6", 310. Can play a tackle and guard. Broncos starting right tackle in 2015 when they won the Super Bowl. Of course, has experience with Kubiak and Dennison, and he's a name who's been floating around Viking circles for a long time. So yeah, it certainly would be nice to get something done before the draft, but I think the Vikings do have the options and flexibility to, all right, so we'll hammer offensive line in the draft. We'll go at it early and often. We'll definitely hammer them in rounds when we have three thirds, four fourths, and two fifths, uh, the the sweet, sweet uh, middle, the blubbery section of this uh, offensive line class. And then we'll see what happens in free agency, because I, I don't think that much is going to happen uh, on the free agent market right now. I think it's bogged down. I think teams are in their trenches or they're just waiting for the draft, trying to fill out the rosters with cheap incoming talent and then supplement in whatever is left over. And yeah, again, yeah, it would be nice to have low online box checked before the draft, but I mean, at the end of the day, it all counts the same, right? It doesn't really matter what order it happens uh, during the offseason. So maybe the Vikings will go in the draft. If they get guys they like, great. And if not, you know, they'll 
tip out through the tulips and they'll pick up a Forest Lamp or a Trey Turner or a Mitchell Schwartz even. So we're keeping Skull alive. We're keeping faith because they cleared up cap space for a reason. And yeah, part of it could be a uh, Daniil signing bonus up front. A part of it could be a Harrison Smith extension. Part of this could be this, could be that. Could be Orlando Brown Jr. We don't know. But we're just keeping hope. We're, we're just keeping hope. I, I don't believe, Zimmer, that the offensive line is good to go. You never care about the offensive line anyway. So obviously it's going to be good to go for you. But yeah, keep goal alive. Come on. Do that. Uh, be your thoughts. Top 10 for agent offensive lineman right now. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. I'll support our work. Post some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.